Today we're solving the 11th challenge on Ethernet called Elevator. Let's take a look at the goal of this challenge. This elevator won't let you reach the top of your building, right? So I guess the goal of this challenge is to reach the top of a building. Okay, scroll down and I'll copy this code over to my code editor. And then also deploy this challenge. Confirm. Inside my code editor, I copied over the code from Ethernet. So let's take a look at the code. Again, the goal of this challenge is to reach the top floor. So what is the top floor? The top floor is a Boolean state variable and we need to somehow set this equal to true. The only function that we can call is go to. It takes in an input of floor. And then to set the state variable top to true, the call to function is last floor must return true. So what is building and what is is last floor? Building is an interface that loads the caller. So we would call this function go to. And then inside this contract, it would load the interface at the caller's address. And then later on this building interface, it will call the function is last floor twice. To get inside this condition, the first call to is last floor must return false. And then to win the challenge, the second call to is last floor must return true. So let's create a contract that will return is last floor on the first call and then return true on the second call. So over here, I'll create a contract. I'll name it hack. And then we'll store the address of the elevator as an immutable variable. So I'll type elevator private immutable and then I'll name it target. And then inside the constructor, we'll set this constructor address of underscore target and then type target is equal to elevator underscore target. Okay, the function that we'll call to beat this level, we'll call it function pwn external. And then to beat the level, we'll need to call the function go to. So I'll say target dot go to the floor doesn't really matter so i'll just put a one here and then after we call the function go to the top should be equal to true so we'll do a quick check by typing require target dot top is equal to true otherwise we fail to complete this challenge and i'll type an error message saying not top so when we call the function go to it will execute the code inside here message.sender will be our hack contract and then it will call is last floor twice back inside the hack contract function is last floor the input doesn't matter you int external and this must return a boolean returns boolean the first call must return a false and then the second call must return a true we can do this by keeping track of the number of times this function is last floor was called. So I'll create a state variable that keeps track of the number of times this function is last floor was executed. uint private count. And when this function is called, we'll increment the count, count plus plus. And then we'll need to return some kind of Boolean. The first call must return a false and the second call must return a true. We can accomplish this by typing here count greater than one. The first call count will be equal to one. So this will evaluate to false. And then the next time count will be equal to two. So two is greater than one. So it will return true. Okay, so that completes our hack contract. I'm gonna go copy this over to Remix, deploy the contract, and then we'll call the function pwn. Okay, inside Remix, I copied over the code from my code editor. Let's try compiling this contract. I'll hit Control S to compile the contract and then it compiles. So let's now deploy this contract. Click on the deployment tab. Make sure that we're on the Gorley testnet. And to deploy the hack contract, I'll need to get the address of the elevator contract. So to do that, I'll go back to Ethernet. Back inside Ethernet, I'll type F12 to open the browser console. And then once the browser console opens, I see that the contract is deployed at this instance address. So I'll copy this. Back inside Remix, I'll select the hack contract paste the address of the elevator contract and then deploy the hack contract and then click confirm. Okay, once the contract is deployed, I'll scroll down, open the contract, open the hack contract, and then we'll call the function pwn and then confirm the transaction. And the transaction to call the function pwn was successful. Now inside the function pwn, we already checked that the target.top is equal to true. So we completed a challenge and the last step is to go back to Ethernet and then submit our instance. Confirm. 
Okay, once you beat the level, you'll see the button change to go to the next level.